Out to center. This is Kranz. It's way back. It is gone. Welcome back to the Couch GM Podcast. Today I have on Mariners starting pitching prospect Taylor Dullard to talk through his past year in baseball. He suffered a shoulder injury in 2023 that took him out for a majority of the year. We talked through his recovery process over this time period and what he's looking forward to in 2024. And as always, a big shout out to our sponsor in Black Label Supplements. Make sure to visit blacklabelsupplements.com. Use code COUCHGM for 15% off your order. And make sure to check out Baseballism, the official lifestyle brand of baseball. Visit baseballism.com. Use code COUCHGM for 15% off as well. They're partnered with Ken Griffey Jr. They've got some really cool stuff. I'm wearing their, their gear all the time. But with that, let's get into the podcast. All right, welcome back to the Couch GM Podcast. We have our first recurring guest. I haven't told you that yet, but this is Taylor Dollar. So Taylor, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. Absolutely, man. No, it's a pleasure. I'm excited. Yeah, so last time we talked was back during spring training last year. Of course, a lot has happened over the, over this past year. I just want to kind of walk through this past year that you've had. You know, as people know, you you've gone through an injury process and you're going through a recovery right now. So, would like to get into some of the details of what your past year has been like and and what that experience has been. Yeah, so last year I got sent out to uh, AAA, um, and then I had I believe it was three starts. Um, I believe I had three starts, shoulder wasn't feeling good. Um, and we kind of shut it down after that, tried to reevaluate, see if we could get through it or if we had to like keep shutting it down for a longer period of time. Um, and eventually it got to the point where I needed to go see the doctor again. Um, and then that's when he gave me the news that we probably needed to get my shoulder fixed. Um, so end of July on July 26, I had my labrum fixed and my throwing shoulder. Um, and then I've been in rehab pretty much ever since then. So I've been, I've been in Arizona for a while now. Okay. So, so when you go get the surgery done, um, where do you go after that? And so do you go down to Arizona to start that rehab process with the team doctors or what's that process? Yeah. So I had, so I had my surgery in LA with, uh, Dr. Elitrosh. Um, and I had that done at the end of July. I was home for about like two, three weeks, um, until they could pull the stitches out. And then flew back down to Arizona, and we basically started rehab process right away. It's been a it's been a journey. <laughs> yeah. So so right as of right now, currently, it sounds like you're you're nearing the end of that process. Is that correct? Uh, we're we're getting closer. Yes. Okay. Um, we're we're expecting to be back this year. We're not really putting a hard date on it um, because specifically shoulder injuries. Like it's one of those things where. You have good days, you have bad days, and it kind of has a mind of its own, if you will. Um, but we're expecting to be back this year at some point. So hearing that news was exciting for me, to say the least. Very promising. And so then last year, you know, there was different guys that went down with injuries. You got Robbie Ray, Mark Gonzalez, uh, Penn Murphy. Do they have some of you guys training together and rehabbing together through those processes, or are you all separate? Yeah, so, so we were all down here together. Um, so it was like me, uh, Marco was here for a little bit, but Robbie Ray was here. Um, and then a couple other minor league guys were down here popping in and out. Um, but it was like mostly our like core group down here was, was me, Robbie and Penn for a little bit. Um, Lemon Chelly was down here. Evan Johnson was down here. Um, we had a bunch of, we had like a pretty good group of guys. Um, new draft guy, Teddy McGraw was down here too. Okay. Um, but it's, it was a good group that we had together and, you know, when, when some of the trades went down, you got, had to say bye to some of the guys and, you know, wish them nothing but the best, but, uh, yeah, we did have a good group down here. I got to pick their brains a little bit and as much of a, uh, grind the rehab was, it, it was enjoyable with that group. Yeah. So, so walk me through the day to day, you know, I mean, when you're actually playing baseball, I'm sure you have that, that full routine when you're recovering, you have to get a lot. I assume you have to give a lot of time to just let things sit and heal. So what does the day to day, -to -day look like during a recovery? So often when it originally happened and like we were first into rehab, it was super simple. Um, not much lifting. It was mostly like moving my shoulder around, eating, kind of like sleeping, like kind of keep it in its place and, and push it, but not too much. Um, since then, we got to graduate a little bit. So like I'm playing catch now and doing all that. Um, but 
it's one of those things where every day is kind of like a different day. So like we'll have our heavy workload days where we're going to push it a little bit. We have our other days where it's super light and maybe we get like a, like a recovery focus, if you will. Um, but most of, it mostly surrounds, or um, I can't even think of the word, but it mostly oh, revolves around like working out. Uh, my rehab stuff is the main priority, obviously conditioning and running. Um, and then slowly but surely, like every day we have like a different throwing program, if you will. So I guess walk me through the, your, uh, your mental process or perspective on the game and how it's changed from, you know, you won Mariners minor league pitcher of the year in 2022 heading into 2023, you know, how has that mindset shifted if at all over the past year? It's been a roller coaster. Um, it has been a roller coaster. Um, I was pretty close there last year, and I think I gave myself a real opportunity. Um, and then to kind of have it all, not I don't want to say fall apart, but kind of crash a little bit. Um, it definitely was an adjustment. It was definitely hard. I mean, you also get news that you have a, a serious injury that needs surgery and all that. Um, it was a lot to process, you know, and I think that, going through this process, I've learned a lot about myself because like when you're in rehab, there's not a lot going on in your world and you kind of have to figure out like, okay, what do I like to do? Like what hobbies do I like? Uh, maybe I like listening to certain types of music or watching certain movies or whatever. And you kind of really have to do some soul diving and kind of figure out like who you are at your core because you don't have the outside distractions anymore. You don't have the structure that you had before. And I think it's as hard as it is to go through and like it was hard for me to go through. I think you come out of it stronger and you come out better as a human being um, with a whole new perspective on life because you have to figure out like who is Taylor outside of baseball. And I think it's an easy question to answer when you're playing and you're going well, but as soon as you get it taken away, it's like, well, who, who am I, you know? And I think that was a blessing in disguise for me to kind of figure out like who I really am, like what, what makes me go. And like I said, it, it, it was tough. Um, but I'm in a, I feel like I'm in a really good place. I'm excited for this year. Uh, I just want to be back on the field with the boys, you know? Absolutely. What, what were some of those movies or TV series or video games that you got into during your downtime? So I'm a, I'm a big video game guy. Um, okay. I, I love video games. Um, one, because I enjoy playing them, but two, it uh, keeps me in touch with all my friends all the time. So like we'll play Call of Duty. Um, we play MLB The Show now. Um, we've been playing some Madden with my brother. I mean, you, honestly, you name it, we were playing it at some point. Um, even like Fortnite when that was back for a second, that was a good little uh, throwback for us. But I'm a big video game guy. I think it was fun. Um, during the Halloween time, we got super into the Saw movie series. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of all the, anything that you probably saw was popular, I've probably seen it. <laughs> yeah. Are you an original Verdansk guy? Oh Call yeah. Duty Warzone? Back in oh, those yeah. good old days of 2020? We put some hours into that one. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Do you guys, do you guys play video games in the clubhouse at all? Like down there in Arizona, do you have like MLB the show fired up? You have some tournaments going or not, not too much, in the, not too much at the facility. Yeah. Um, but like a lot of us, we have guys like we'll play together. Um, and like, we're all doing the same thing every day. You kind of finish up in the field and you go home and we're all playing the same game. So yeah. we will usually team up, do something, play against each other every now and then. Um, I will go on record. I think I'm probably the best Madden player in the clubhouse, but I would have to put it to the test. <laughs> How about, how about I'm going to be the show? Who's the best of that? I haven't played with too many guys yet because that only just came out. Um, okay. But I'm not ready for that yet. I need to get my swing back. <laughs> yeah. Have you, uh, you should connect with Ty Pete because, I mean, he's, you know, he's into streaming and stuff. So I imagine oh, yeah. he's pretty good. Yeah. I, I got to get some reps before I get into that matchup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moving into 2024. What are you looking forward to this year, you know, other than getting on the field, of course? Uh, what are the next steps for your recovery? And then, yeah, wh what are you looking forward to this coming year? So we're getting closer to, like, being off the mound. We're probably – I don't even want to put a timetable on it. But we're getting closer to the mound, uh, which is kind of exciting for me. You know, I, I haven't stepped on the mound in 
I don't even know how many months now. Um, so I'm looking forward to that a lot. I'm looking forward to just being around all the guys again and kind of being at an affiliate and putting on a jersey every day and being ready to go. Like, it, it, it's the small things that honestly I'm looking forward to because there's a lot that you take for granted. You know, like putting your jersey on sounds ridiculous, but I don't think I don't want I want to go put my jersey on. Um, and like, you know, all the small things like that, be around the clubhouse, be around playing cards in between rain delays or whatever it is, mm. um, picking guys' brains, like watching guys play. I think that's what I'm most looking forward to, man. And besides obviously playing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a lot of things that you don't realize you miss doing until you don't get to do them. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next phase of our rehab over here, which is going to be getting close to the mound and it's getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. That's going to be exciting to, to watch that progress. And then, yeah, it's, um, it's been good, yeah, man. Yeah. So I was watching another interview with you that the Mariners actually did. And I learned that you were actually roommates with George Kirby when you guys were back in Arkansas. And then, and then also, you know, you went to Cal Poly, of course, and Brian Wu also went to Cal Poly. So, um, walk me through your time with George Kirby at Arkansas, that kind of that relationship, and then you and Wu going to college together and then end up in the same organization. Yeah, so so I only got a little bit of Kirby with my as my roommate in Arkansas because obviously he got called up pretty quick into the year. But, um, I mean, it was a blast, man. Me and Kirby are really good friends. I enjoy being around him a lot. Um, and, like, to see see, like, where he was, where he was already really elite, to now being debatably one of the best pitchers in baseball, to me is really cool to watch. Um, I think that he obviously has all the talent in the world and I think that he's gonna have a great year this year. So I'm excited to watch him do that. Uh, but kind of being around him was great because I got to learn from him. You know, I was the younger, quote unquote, younger guy going into double A and kind of learning from him a little bit helps me. Playing catch with him helps me. Um, and there's a lot of stuff to like, I think a tribute to like that relationship that we had and, you know, getting to see him dominate in the big leagues is, is pretty cool to watch. Um, and then Wu, me and Wu were, we were in college together, obviously he was a year below me. Um, and we were roommates on the road, um, his freshman year too, for a little bit. And I think that process for him was even cooler for me to watch because I saw him as a college freshman where the game was so sped up and he looks like a chicken without its head, if you will. And, you know, I think to watch him go out now and pitch in front of 40,000 people, however many people it is in sold out stadiums and dominate, like that's, that's pretty full circle for me. You know, I got to see basically him go through everything. I got to see him like obviously get picked by the Mariners, which, I thought was really, really cool. And then you see him go up to the big leagues and do his thing up there. I'm like, there's nobody, nobody that earns it more than he did. Honestly, you put in a lot of work, you put in a lot of effort. Um, I tell you what, man, he, he earned that for sure. And he went through a Tommy John process, you know, right before the draft. I don't want to talk all about, you know, the recovery and injuries, but did you talk to, with Brian at all about his process through his injury and how that might help you with your recovery? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a different different injury, but at the same time, like we have the same um, the same like struggle in rehab where like you don't know what to do, like who are you, like all that type of stuff, and like kind of picking his brain a little bit of going through the rehab process definitely helped me. He kind of we kind of were always in touch with him, or I was in touch with him when he was going through his stuff, um, and he's still in touch with me when I'm going through mine. You know, it's 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 basically like one of those things where it's like it's he's a borderline of brother at this point, you know. Um, and I think it's really important for both of us to have somebody like that for both sides of the spectrum, you know, and I think that hopefully when I'm healthy, hopefully we get to play together in, up in Seattle and, you know, I think he's going to help me out. <laughs> for sure. And then how much uh, this off season have you, have you been watching and, and, uh, staying up to date on the Mariners moves that they've been making with this off season and they've completely ret retooled their offense, brought in some solid guys uh in the bullpen this off season how much do you follow all of those details with my free time being at a surplus i follow pretty <laughs> pretty closely 
Um, but I think it, I'm excited for this year, man. I think they got a lot of talent that they brought in. I think the talent that was already here is going to take that next step and really do something special. Um, seeing the guys around here, I think it's really cool to see the way the, the team's kind of coming together. It's a different look, which I think is good because there's just even more talent than we had before. And that's, I, in my opinion, in my experience of being around here, it's, it's a different vibe to it, you know. Um, I'm really excited to see the guys this year. I think the staff is going to be great. I think the bullpen is going to be great. And I'm excited to see what the lineup does because watching some of those swings in the cages, man, it's it's impressive. So I think that, I think the team's going to be really good this year. I think the guys are going to do awesome this year. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I can impact that at some point this year. And that's the ultimate goal. Absolutely. And then – Speaking to some of the some of the different vibes coming into this year, there's also been some younger guys that have been in camp. Um, Colt Emerson, Cole Young, all these different young top prospects. How has the vibe of of spring training felt with some of those younger guys compared to last year? It's definitely different. Um, I could say as a 25 year old, I feel old around here sometimes. <laughs> um, but I think that it's really good for those guys to be around. The older guys, you know, they're they're the next wave, if you will. And, you know, I think the more that you can be around guys who have been there, done that, at like the top level, the better it is for them. Um, I think a lot of the young guys that are coming in have a lot of talent and they're really, really good. Um, and everybody goes through the struggles of their career. And, you know, I think when you can pick guys' brains before you get to that, it kind of helps you when you're 0 for 20 or when you can't get an out in an inning pitching-wise. And it's like – you kind of figure out like, okay, everybody's gone through this. Everybody does this. I just got to keep going. I got to keep working. And I, I really do think that the guys that we've brought in, like through the draft and stuff like that for, for being young kids, man, they're, they're really good and they're really mature. Um, I'm really impressed with them. And obviously I hope, I hope nothing but the best for them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely makes me feel old at 25 years old, being around a bunch of 18, 19, 20 year old kids. I'm I'm right there with you. I just turned 30 in December, so I'm I'm even further along that that path. But <laughs> it's, it goes quick, man. It goes quick. It does. Well, uh, Taylor, really appreciate your time. Um, really looking forward to watching you progress, and I'm looking forward to that first interview that I'll do with you on the sideline in Seattle because I know it's coming this year. Just keep the faith, keep keep grinding, and uh, looking forward to seeing you up there. I appreciate you, man. I look forward to it. Out to center. This is cranked. It's way back.